Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Vault Hunters. We did a stream yesterday. We played some vaults. By the way, there's an X on me which says Waypoint. It turns out that it's the Numpad Plus, which is the button I use to start recording. So that's where that came from. Um, we played some vaults together. We were bad at it. <laughs> we played some vaults. We're also together, but with fewer of us each time, and we were okay at it. And then we played some two-person vaults, and they succeeded. Let me draw your attention to the zero at the bottom of the screen with a bar below it, which is about three pixels away from being full. That is my vault level. The vault level um, determines the nature of the vault crystal when you create it. So my current vault level is zero. If I were to create a second vault crystal now, that would be tied to my level, which would be zero. So I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is instead use the crystal that I've got do a very simple vault. Stop glitching. Stop stop glitching. Um, do a very quick vault. Try and make sure that I get enough XP to um, level up and then make more crystals when I'm level one. That way we'll get a bit more progression a little bit quicker. Now, uh, cool stuff that you missed, unless you did watch the stream, in which case you didn't miss. Um, I was lucky enough to loot my first bit of vault loot, which is this vault axe. This has 10.5 attack damage and it has healing cloud. Which is brilliant. This we actually managed to get one proc off of this, even though it says. Uh, let me interrupt that. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, it doesn't. Okay, fourteen percent is spiteful healing cloud. There is no indication on how often that is going to proc. Um, it did proc once, so we managed to get a little bit further in our vault than we otherwise would have, which is brilliant. Um, it produces a, an AOE healing cloud sometimes when you hit an enemy, which can benefit your allies as well. So Mike and I were in a vault. Taking a little bit of damage, and <clears throat> we were standing in a little red cloud of health, and ta-da, we're fixed again. Brilliant. So let's bring this in with us. It'll work on me as well, of course. I don't need the sword, therefore. Now, one of the best things you want to do when going into the uh, the vault is to have as empty an inventory as you can. The bow is pretty okay. Um, I'm actually not going to take it because I'm not very good with it. It's helpful when you go in with multiple people because one person can shoot and the other person can melee, but we did learn that even with friendly fire off, we will block one another's arrows. So that's not much fun. Um, so with a little bit of coordination, we managed to get a couple of vaults done, and I'm this far away from level one, so we're going to run a vault right now, uh, and probably not last very long in it, and bail pretty quickly so that we can ensure that we have level one. <laughs> I love how we jump through it and nothing happens. Uh, we have to wait for it to spawn, basically. There we go. Monoliths. So monoliths is where you, there are monoliths. They look very much like that, but 3D, in the vault. If you manage to find three of them and activate them and get out in time, then you get even more cool stuff. It's entirely possible that we can do this. Um, but if we get low on HP, we're out. We don't want to risk this. We're not. It's not a greed run. This is an XP run. I'm going to tell my XP run. Ooh. So, I brought my pickaxe and my food. There's nothing else that I want. I've got my MLG water bucket, but chances are I will completely fail to use it properly. Um, and so, yeah, this is the first solo vault that I'm running. We have done four player vaults where basically we've got it under each other's feet. Ooh, I hear a spawn of fizzling. So up there somewhere there are going to be baddies appearing. Uh, I think we got under each other's feet, so what we decided to do is do two player runs and that worked a lot better. We did do a four person vault wherein, I want you to show up so that I can kill you, wherein uh, we paired up, but the problem is in these vaults, because you see down the bottom right is a star, this is a beginner's grace vault, and what that means is, uh, uh oh, no, 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 <laughs> yeah, you shoot you. Bad time to be me. <laughs> That's the worst thing. So uh, skeletons are extremely OP <laughs> in um, in vaults, unfortunately. That's actually extremely unfortunate. Um, getting the first one being a skeleton, there's not a lot you can do. If you can't heal, there's not a lot you can do. If I could heal, I would have run in there and, you know, Gone gung ho and then sort of licked my wounds, but I couldn't, unfortunately. Uh, here you go. 
String and potatoes. We should have potatoes. Right? Potato? No? Potato. I don't think I even put any potatoes in a farm. I realised that last time we didn't do a tour of Mike's place. Um, I did say we would, and then I got into building over the course of the whole week. So I forgot. Here's Mike's place. He's made a dripstone farm, which we were just talking about, because it was uh, it's quite often um, an ingredient in making vault crystals. So that's handy. There's Mike right now. I wonder if you can do that like this. Okay. Emote, no. Nope. Mike's got a jetty and a lot of cows. Now there is a thing that prevents lag from having too many things, but I could trade with the villager, yeah. Oh, here's a here's a civilized proper farm. Nice. Okay, good. I thought that Mike was a, a just a actual Neanderthal, but it turns out only only indeed. It's just the way he speaks. Going to build a bridge or what? Come on, Isambard. People unfamiliar with British history will be wondering why I called Mike Isambard. I encourage you to look up Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Google will know what you mean, regardless of how you spell it. That is a real name. <laughs> Welcome to Britain. Um, there's a, I say well known, but if you haven't heard of him, apparently not. Um, engineer in the Industrial Revolution. He built a lot of bridges, you see. Let's try again. Fingers crossed. So I brought my... This is not... <laughs> this is not my silk touch pick. That was a mistake. I made a diamond pick and it looks exactly the same as my other diamond pick, but my other diamond pick is glowing. Uh, honestly, I'm not too bothered because if I find anything mineable anyway, the loss is going to be minimal. Right. So what we do is... He says immediately finding ridiculous amount of chromatic iron ore. I've got four. That's another. That is. This vault has paid for itself, right? I've got the chromatic iron and the vault rock pieces that I need. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. And I'm very convinced that this room, at least, doesn't have any spawners in it. So I'm not worried at all. So I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried at all. I'm going to go to a different room and see if there's any loot in this entire vault. Whilst getting distracted along the way. And if there's nothing in the next room, then heck it. Like, just don't die. If this gets hairy, just leave. Ah! Look how much damage that did, by the way. <laughs> didn't hear the thing break. So, you need to be careful. Why are you bleating? <laughs> Bleat it. Ow. 
I hate them. My heart is thumping because of that. Do you know what? Don't risk it. What? <laughs> I've looted something. I'm out. That'll guarantee me a bit of um, XP. And that's good enough. What the heck? Stop it. What? No! I died because I didn't know that I could be attacked. I genuinely had no idea that where I was, there could be enemies. And so I was complacent. I was mining iron and then suddenly there was a zombie and then I just fell off of a... I was running away and I fell off of... I was running away backwards and I fell off of the thing and I died. With all that chromatic iron. I'm so... I'm nicking two pieces of copper off the Tristan. I'm so grateful to Iskal and the lot for beginner's grace, to be honest. And they're such a valuable... We're going east, so we're going to go... Home is west. Such a valuable tool, right? By the way, I have no idea how rare that type of vault was. So, I could be lucky. Hey, we, we don't need to do anything. Stop being greedy. Like that one, the previous one, I am going to allow myself the greed because it was so valuable. Um, but this one, no. Just get in, get out again, and no one gets hurt. No skeletons, please. Ah, fizzle. Nice. Get wet. Get, get wrecked. Get what? Get wet? <laughs> This axe is so good, I have no excuse. But if you get hit once, just leave, right? If you get a fizzle, a non-fizzly spawner, just leave. That should be in the pick. But I will... Do I just leave? Right, if this one doesn't fizzle out... Right, I'm running away. <laughs> That's it. Job done. This ought to be in the Unless I can kill this guy. Well, you're fast. Ow. What does this do? Can't even eat it. Not fizzle. Leaving. Please be enough XP. <laughs> Yay! So this is my num So what we were doing, by the way, I haven't told you. Um, if you missed the stream, we were going in in pairs. Um, and Tristan and Pete were putting their stuff in here and sharing it out. And Mike and I are putting our stuff in here and sharing it out. We've left some stuff because some of the stuff is not as useful if you don't have enough of it. Like uh, unobtainium, for example, if you have four of it, you have an infinite supply because you can turn this into five. And that is on purpose. Um, it's silly, but it is how it is. Uh, and this is for if we're sharing the vault, right? So as it happens, I soloed that one. So heck it. Now, what do you do with this? That's how you make a golden apple which is used for crafting, uh, used for brewing, which will let you get health potions. Fair enough. What did Mike say? Nice. Nice indeed. So let's have a look at this. H, level one. Woohoo! Press H to get to this. This is your attack damage is, uh, what one? Here it is. Uh, basically damage is, yeah, 12.2 DPS damage per second, which is weird because maybe that's slightly faster than one per second rather than that's not the number of seconds between attacks. Maybe that's attacks per second, which is why that is slightly higher than, anyway, 20 hearts. So we're gonna spend our thing on heal. Yoink, learn. Now, I haven't got a key binding for it for some reason. Uh, controls, key bind. Heal. I did this, yeah, that's right, because last time I did this, the back button on my mouse, which is button five, now heals. Woohoo! So as I was saying, the golden apple is part of brewing. Brewing lets you make potions. Potions let you heal in the vault. Uh, a little bit more sort of better, <laughs> I guess, than um, this heal. But that heal, the heal that I've got, I can use basically as much as I want, except for, you know, asterisk. There's a cooldown on it and I need mana. Mana goes up one point per second. I'll use it and you can have a look at the bottom left. So you can see the cooldown, that's how long it's going to take, but you can see my mana going up, uh, which will you know, refill over time. So let's make another fault. 
crystal. I need some more chip fault rocks, so I guess I'm going mining. Okay, we're level one, we have our heal. That means we can be a little bit more gung-ho. The, the, the vault crystals are still quite cheap, which is nice. But I spent a lot of time mining, as you all have just seen. Um, I mined out the rest of a geode, I suppose you might call it, of vault rock, vault cobblestone, vault stone. I bring in the vault cobblestone as the... Uh, reminding myself how to get back stuff uh, but I had to mine it out because I didn't have any um, I didn't have enough chip vault rock after the debacle with the chromatic iron vault <laughs> I didn't have nearly enough to make a, another vault crystal but now I have made seven vault crystals so that's nice uh, right 
be careful. You can heal, but it doesn't mean that you're, you know, Jesus. Enough. Oh, water. Ah, save. Uh, so we heal one HP, and then we have to wait for the cooldown, and I'm also poisoned. Didn't fizzle. Where are you? Ooh, a vault down. Nice. Did you fizzle? Look, healed. Oh, this is so much better. Look at it. This vault axe is so good. Oh, we're doing so much better just from being able to heal. I've got that much more confidence that next time I do something, I'm not going to just die horribly. You have fizzled, which makes me very happy because look at the uh, chests that are in it. Ooh. Ah! Mob trap. We can do that. Look at us! We're just going nuts. We can't be stopped. We can be stopped, so don't get complacent. <laughs> What's it with monoliths? We only need two monoliths. We could actually beat this vault, which would be amazing. I can heal again. Oh, this is so much better. Healing is OP. <laughs> Please nerf. Don't nerf. Do not nerf. Do not nerf healing. Oh, God. Ah! No, 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 no. Now, where are you going to spawn? Good thing you haven't oh, got the camera on, because you would be laughing at me right now <laughs> for the... Uh... Whoa, how fast can you be? You'd be laughing at my... Whoa. No. Uh, my reaction. <laughs> I actually jumped. Oh, that was really dangerous. Monster sold five or six kills. So I need another monster over here. So we can... Maybe we can kite one. When they start getting the thing on them, yeah, like that, they uh, they count for this. I click to loot. What did I get? A donor's blessing. Brilliant. <laughs> we need to get out of here. This is scary. Okay. I just want to find another couple of POIs. I'm greeting it because I've got full health. This is brilliant, but also scary. Oh, he's done it. Stop hurting me. Ah! Once more into the breach, my friends. <sighs> that was basically guaranteed to happen if I got into that situation. <laughs> so I'm not too salty. We get everything back. Beginner's vault, beginner's grace is great, um, honestly. And um, I, I don't mind too much that we got into that situation. Um, let's just get some buds here. With heal, I was like five minutes left on that vault, so I spent twenty minutes in this vault, uh, in in the vault before, uh, and I got creepered. Right, it's not like I. <gasps> what the, Smeg? Get out of here! There are POIs. Don't. Get complacent. <laughs> oh, that took longer than I expected. <sighs> well, that last lot that I did was not that interesting, unfortunately. So I wasn't put too much of the uh, I didn't put too much of the footage from it. It was entirely that. It was just chromatic iron until. The cows come home. I got about three or four stacks of chromatic iron blocks. Not not blocks of the iron, but the, the raw ore. Not the raw. 
it makes it very confusing to talk in Minecraft terms. The ore that you find in the ground, I got because of silk touch, right? So if we can get a fortune pick, that's going to be a huge amount of um, chromatic iron. And if we need some, it's just there, right? If we can't get the fortune pick first. Uh, say hello to Guybrush, by the way. My parrot in the background. That's Guybrush. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll do maybe a couple more vaults on my own. I've got 86 XP for that. Um, cause I was, I noticed that Orm's mind is a thing, but let's have a look here. Vault level zero. So my vault, last vault level one, none of those ores counted. <laughs> and I had five seconds left, which gave me, I don't know how much, probably no XP, but I've got 86 XP for it. For all of that. Um, mind blocks, no XP. I, I don't know why. I'm not sure about that. I might have to find out about that, actually, because I mined a huge amount of ore. But it might only count for the special um, gem ores. So, again, we'll find out about that. But that's why I'm still only level 1 in a bit. But the healing, oh, it's been so good. You know, I, I've not been worried. I did die on the previous one, as you'll have seen. But I, I, I don't feel like that was a sk well, skill issue is, you know, a bit of a meme. Thing to say but it wasn't because i went into a poi that i couldn't beat when i had no hp left it's because i didn't know there was a creeper and i panicked <laughs> so skill issue in the sense of uh why is your brain wrong but not in the sense of um you know actual I i'm bad at the game i'm just bad at pressing keys when i panic <laughs> You know, aren't we all? Um, <clears throat> I got um, blocks of amethyst and an amethyst bud, but I didn't find a spawning amethyst. Uh, these these were spawning in the uh, vault, sort of wherever they wanted to, rather than attached to. A, uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but the, there's a block of amethyst that produces these. I think you have to put those on it to make it work anyway. Ah, he's on me. I would like to find him. Say hello to Guybrush. This is Guybrush. Hello, Guybrush. Let's run another vault. Uh, so, uh, YouTube. Uh, this hello. is this is the day after. So Tristan's on today, uh, and we thought we'd do a a joint one. So if you miss the stream, you can see quite how bad we are at it. I have a storage system here. So, what the uh, heck? <laughs> So if you if you look in the third chest along down here, there's uh, a stack of wheat seeds and twenty three. Mm -hmm. I go up here and I put that forty you gave me in here, and eventually and they make their way. Gradually in. filter through and go into that one. So presumably you've got some filters in one of these. Uh, the the middle row. Ah. <laughs> What's all the so, redstone for then? So w what it does is so the comparator looks at how full the hopper is. Mm -hmm. uh, the four filters are just sticks; they're just there to block those slots out. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when there's at least forty-one of something in the first slot, this signal will reach a power of three. Mm. So this will be two, so this will be one, and if you run down to this end, so to, saying this one would be one, that will power this repeater, okay. which will turn off oh, this torch. And allow the other. This torch powers the block above it, and therefore the hopper. If you power a hopper, it stops transferring anything. Each other sort Ooh, of what have we found? Room. Oh, brilliant. How do we get over there? <laughs> So what's the rule? What do we do here? Uh, break the question marks. Oh, I've got one. So we are probably not going to be able to complete this, by the way. This uh, challenge room or this vault? This <laughs> challenge room, yeah. Do you, do you have a pink? Uh, I've got one pink. Okay, we can do the pink. So how many... Do you have a green? I have a green. Uh, how many blues do you have? Three blues. Excellent. We, we can do this. Uh, stand back and press the button. Stand back. Push button. Whoa. I believe these can be trapped, by the way. Okay. 
Oh, nice. Silk, yay. Oh, we've got our own obtainium. Oh, mobs. There's one over there looking. Oh, heretic or something. Oh, another. And I had one of How these. many special rooms are we going to get in a row? This is a challenge room rather than a mega room. I have seen this one. I think we should avoid doing it. Pete and I did it. Didn't you die? <laughs> we died down there, but that was because of a trapped chest rather than. We have to build real quick, don't you? Uh, it all depends whether you stare down or uh, pillar down like that. Okay. So, as a note, if there is a trap spawner, uh, if you, we're a bit tougher now because we've got heal. But if you just put water down at your feet, mm. that's a sort of cheesy way of getting around it. Also. So, uh, the thing will activate once uh, you someone is standing on the the floor for an amount of time. Okay. Very scary. Uh, you basically want to go as soon as the. Uh, bedrock vanishes you want to retreat and then figure out what's going on down there the side bedrock goes space. away but the ground bedrock stays yes the ground bedrock stays so this is where you build a little thing like this <laughs> yes that is the, an option that's what the pros we do. didn't do that so yeah yeah if you if you drop in there then you should be safe then we wait you watch for it to yep. go away yep. and then tell me so what it's about uh, I don't see anything. Oh, I see chests. Hold on a moment, though. I, I'm paranoid that mobs will appear. But <laughs> I don't think they should. Remember from afar, because you might... Um... Yeah. Are there any? <laughs> Where are my chests? I've been hoodwinked. Oh, there we go. Don't open that from... Too close. Ta-da! 1.4k. So did you go into spectator mode? No. Oh, I only got 973. So you got to leave, even though I was still in the vault. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's supposed to be protection against that sort of thing. I don't know exactly how it works. I love how there's just built-in uh, duping <laughs> hacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Plenty of time. <laughs> Twenty seconds. When I when I had five seconds left, it was already doing this noise. Um, before I even joined in that exit passageway. <laughs> Yay! Level two. That was thirteen hundred XP I got. Ooh. I'm gonna take the Nova. Yoink. <laughs> oh, did he take damage? <laughs> Why did he take damage and I didn't? Oh, okay. <laughs> he just doesn't have full health. Oh my god! You see how fast that was? If it doesn't fizzle. That's a lot of mobs. It did fizzle, by the way. <laughs> I, okay. That is mobs. Just the other two women. Ah! Whoa! Nova and heal. Nova and heal. That was bad. They keep fizzling, so I'm kind of wondering if that's just the nature of this place. You go it's, to the it's thing. It's worth keeping going. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting quite a bit of ore in here. Mm -hmm. And a lot of mob killing XP. I've gone... So up and left, there's more. There's some down there as well? Yeah. I'm up here already. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hang back while I heal. <laughs> Fair. Maybe I can shoot Ooh. things. I didn't hear a fizzle there, but I... Yeah, I haven't heard any of them actually. You're moving, just a, you're moving side to side, you're moving. In Sorry. Way. Ah! Back away, back away. Yep, back I'm away, back Mike. In, I'm back in the back. I got it, I got it. 
Ow, 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 ow. No! Who put the bucket down? I did. <laughs> Let him go away. That slug, that... That... Ow, that's pushing me towards them. Okay, I'm two health. Now there's two. Uh, I think you put it back there. I, I am very <laughs> carefully going to head out to move. Please. Yeah. I think we we just head Let's leave. head out now. If that was I a lot of mobs. near the entrance, if you guys want to keep going a bit further, and I will just hands off the quietly watch more of Lawrence's video. Let's just uh, let's just leave. <laughs> we got a lot of ore, so that's actually really yeah. Good. Walking into cactus will kill me. Mike immediately walks over to some cactus. It's it was cactus that was on the floor. I know. <laughs> I like how it doesn't hurt when you pick it up. It should be level two now, level one now, and you can have the thing. I should have stayed behind to see if you were uh, spectated. Oh, yeah. Oh, not level two. What? Oh, I can make no, you a burger. I, I, I have to, William. Okay, good. All right, well, thank you for watching. We ran a lot of vaults today Um, in the last few. It was with Tristan and Mike, and some of them were solo. And mostly died in the solo ones rather than the uh, together ones, which is good because it means we're getting better at it. Um, I've upgraded my pick, as you can see. It is now good enough to mine out a vault spawner, a spawner inside the vault, which makes things a lot easier if you wanted to get as much loot as possible. Um, and we've got a decent amount of loot as a result. Here's a, an entire chest full of vault stuff. And I've got enough for another netherite as well, so I could upgrade something else, maybe somebody else's pick. Just a whole bunch of levels and loot. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you'll join us on the stream, which will be alternating Fridays from now on. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.